Hello, just a quick follow-up video to Friday's video. Um, thanks to everyone that's uh, liked and commented on that video. It's done quite well for me, so I'm really pleased about that. Um, I managed to get um, some, some good action locally now with my nodes here. I've got one um, at the top of the town between my and my mother's house. It's about two and a half miles away. And, and I'm getting uh, a good link now. So perseverance and everything. Um, it took a little bit of a while to actually get things working. But there is, like I say, you know, you come across these things like with the leads and stuff. And um, it can throw you. Um, so, yeah, on the antenna, a lot of people seem interested in the little Yagi I made. Here is said Yagi. Um, now, a couple of people mentioned on the video about the polarity uh, on, on this when it was fitted to this bracket. Now, it was designed as such so when it was fitted to this that you could have it horizontally or vertically. You see, it is a square hole. So on the video, I showed it like that, but you can also... You can also put it in that way. You can also put it in vertically, which of course most people would do for this mode of operation. So I just wanted to cover that because a lot of people said, "Oh, it should be, it should be vertical." Well, it was designed to do that, so you could put it in either way. You could put it horizontal or vertical. Okay. So I covered that one off first, and what I've done is on the in between making the video, I just made this little stand, uh, designed this little stand for it as well, which made it quick and easy to print with a slot in the middle there. So there's two ways you could have it. If you wanted this for horizontal work of any other kind, you've got this little stand here, and then you've also got the uh, the swivel in the vertical position as well, or the swivel in the horizontal position if you go take it that way. And of course, you don't have to print all three. If you just want the Yagi, you can print just the Yagi or whatever, or if you just want a horizontal stand you can do that um so i thought that might be a good idea for folks there's a foot there you, you can pop that in your loft you could get attached that to the uh, uh to one of the the struts in your loft and uh, and then adjust it to whatever position that you like so i'll release the stl files for these now don't if you haven't got a 3d printer don't worry uh, you can still make this out of a piece of, piece of wood or something like that or a piece of plastic what i'll do is i'll release some um, in the STL files will have the actual dimensions of these elements in, but I'll do a, a 2D drawing, a bit of a, might be a little bit of a rough job because I want to get it out quickly. Uh, I'll do a 2D drawing with the dimension, the exact dimensions of this so you can you can mimic it yourself. And hopefully you should have uh, good um, uh, good uh, use with it as I have done it. So um, like I say, it, um, it's definitely, the in, in terms of performance, one of the... Uh, the best antennas I, I've got uh, and of course you get a lot of satisfaction when you make something yourself don't you um, and on the cases front yeah people have asked about the the cases um, uh, this one I think it was should be yeah this has got the internal antenna uh, but it still needs charging up let me uh, I don't know if we did it yeah did I show it I did show it on the last video didn't I with these little buttons in and again I'll do a separate video for these because I want to show you how it's assembled uh, and how this button goes in and everything like that and um, these make really nice little cases and the original cases are getting quite hard to get hold of now and of course you can you, you can't put a battery in those cases whereas with these ones you can put a good size cell in there and that'll last and run for uh, a long time and um, so a lot of you seem interested in those so don't worry I haven't forgotten I am going to do it but I want to do a separate video uh, on the construction also I've got you know it takes a little bit of time to get the STL files right I, I I did wonder whether this was a little bit over engineered the sides of the case are quite thick um, you probably don't need to be that thick so I might thin those down a little bit and tweak it a little bit and it'll print quicker as well so what I'll do now is I'll stop recording this video now um, and I'll get the STL files prepared for the Yagi so if you're interested in making the Yagi and uh, it's a good bit of fun to make. And if you know someone that's got a 3D printer, they can print it. If not, you can just um, take the measurements off the drawing and make it yourself. Um, like I say, I'll provide all this, um, all these plans um, totally free of charge. The only thing I would ask is I haven't got time to answer um, questions and stuff. So if your 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 one isn't working, I haven't really got a lot of time to go to the comments at the moment and answer questions and things like that. So you'll have to just have a go and see. I hope you understand that. But my uh, time is very precious with one thing and another at the minute. So um, I hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, I'll thank you again for watching. And um, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I hope you're having fun with Meshtastic. When you finally start getting contacts, it becomes even more addictive than it was already.
<laughs> right, I'll catch you on the next one. Go download the uh, STL files and do what you want with them. It's no problem. Catch you later.